both within the national Chavura, the larger Chavura community and at Chavura institutes, there are now people who say, oh yes, egalitarianism is so established as a basic principle here, we can, we can allow uh, a minion with a mechitza for those people who want it. Uh, and what's the problem? I don't see any problem here. You know, and it makes people of my generation go bonzo. <laughs> it's like, no, if egalitarianism is a principle, then you go by a principle of egalitarianism. And if you want people who come from orthodox backgrounds to come and experience what the institute is like, they should experience what it is to be part of an egalitarian community. And, you know, we wouldn't expect to go there and have an egalitarian minion, so they shouldn't expect to come here and have a mechitza minion. If they want to have a mechitza minion, let them do it in the privacy of their room. We don't have to organize it for them. And that, you know, that, it's like, sometimes, it, it often feels like we're sort of talking past one another. And, you know, I think that's always, that's, that's the, ambiguity of making change. You, you, we couldn't have imagined when we started 30, 40 years ago that this would now be so normative for a new generation that they can't imagine a time when there weren't women rabbis, when there, women weren't counted in a minion, when, when, when bat mitzvah wasn't the same. As, so it doesn't feel Nothing feels threatening, and that's what we wanted. You know, it's not like so. On the one hand, it's a sign that we succeeded in some ways, and on another hand, we're, you know, so it's 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 tricky. And I, you know, the same thing in the secular context. I mean, I think it's amazing that you know this next generation of students has grown up in this totally. They can't imagine a world without women's studies. They can't, you know. I had two women teachers the whole time I was in college. I never read an article that was written by a, an article or a book that was written by a woman. I mean, it would be hard to get through college these days with that kind of experience. So it's an enormous change that, you know, has happened. And the world seems totally different, and yet you know, we remember, I don't think all of, there's no way that all of that change can be reversed, but, you know, there are things that are fragile, and I think the fragility we're much more aware of than the younger generation.